What's good, everyone? This is Marcus DeFingas, D-A-F-I-N-G-A-Z, on social media, back with audio plug-in deals. In this video, we're going to talk all about Trap Drive by DigiNoise. It is a distortion plugin that you can use uh, mainly for trap music, but you can use it in other types of music, so we'll get into that. But before we get into that, make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel so you can get uh, notified of upcoming videos, upcoming deals like this one. This is a great deal. Actually, I'll, get you, I'll give you this, a little bit of information right now. This plugin is free right now. So if you can get it before uh, this limited time offer expires, get it now for free. It is normally uh, not free. It's normally $23.33 uh, or something like that, but it's free now. That's all that matters. So get it now. Here I am in Logic Pro. I'm going to show you what I have. I have uh, the Trap Drive plugin here from DigiNoise on all the tracks that I use in this beat, uh, but I'm going to play just a snippet of it without anything, and then I'm going to get into this plugin, see what we can figure out uh, with all these knobs and buttons and options, and see what we can do with Trap Drive. So here is the beat by itself. So that's all the sounds right there. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this plugin on each of the sounds, see what we can make happen. So we'll start first with the beat. This is the beat. So that's it with it off. It already sounds great, but I think we can enhance it using Trap Drive. So let's turn this on. We have some options here. The only thing that I'm really worried about here are the four big knobs, the input, the type, the amount, the output. I have no idea what these different types are, but you have a lot of different types. Uh, I believe there's some information in the manual you can look up, but it gets really technical with the different bit crushing and all that stuff. Uh, all that really matters is how does it sound. So let's go into this beat here and let's see what we can do with it. So you can get really violent with the sound. I actually like that. What I'm gonna do before we get too far into this is turn all these tracks down by, let's say, down to five dB, because I think we're gonna be cranking them up with the drive, uh, the trap drive plug-in. Let's go. Yeah. So it looks like you can turn down the output there a little bit. Let's see how it sounds with and without. I'm gonna click this button. That'll be turning it on and off. I believe the bypass button also does the same thing as turning it off here in Logic. So I'll use the bypass button because that will be in the plugin. So here we go. So you're adding a lot, of, especially if you listen to the kick, you're adding a lot of uh, weight to some of those kicks in there. Let's, let's go to the hi-hat. This is doing a fun pattern here. Uh, you know, pretty safe. Uh, actually kind of boring. Um, let's see what we can do with this. So that, this sounds like it's doing it, going into bit crush mode. So what I'm hearing right now is when you adjust the type, the type and the amount seem to be linked. I could be wrong, but the type and the amount knob seem to be linked. So if I choose this type and I have it all the way down, I'm not going to hear any change. So let's see if that's true. And then the more you crank it up, you'll hear more of the change. So it looks like it goes from low to kind of high uh, or high to low, depending on how you look at it. So let's try these different other types. I think I like this first one here. Let's try it with the beat. I 
I like that. So next we'll go to percussion. This percussion loop here, um, let's see how it sounds without any of the trap drive uh, distortion going on. Again, uh, fun as it is, but let's see what we can do with it. So here we go with uh, the percussion. So when I hear this one, you hear a lot of the, the distortion happening. I don't want that too much because we do have the kick drum going on, so I don't want to have too much in the low end. So we're going to try maybe one of these middle ones. So I'm thinking between one of these two. And then let's do a bypass. So this is without it. And this is with. So you can hear it's adding a little bit of energy there. So let's play all these drum tracks together. Cool, I like that so far. So next, let's go to the 808 and see what we can do with it. This is the 808 by itself without trap drive. So let's see what we can mangle with this thing. We're gonna bring up the input a little bit and just go through some of the uh, types here. See right there, I already like that already. I just hear the energy just, <laughs> it's already catching my attention. Let's go through the different types. So you can decide if you want a subtle sound depending on the beat you're making or a more aggressive sound. That first one really caught my ear, so I might stick with that, but let's keep going. So I'm going to stick with the first one. Let's hear that with all of the beat and everything now. Yeah, so far so good. So next we're gonna go to the keys. The keys are um, sort of the melody that I have during this part, which could be sort of the verse part. So this is what I have going with the keys without the uh, trap drive going on. It's just the same thing. At the beginning, it's actually an octave lower. So let's see what Trap Drive can do with that. We're gonna turn it on, we're gonna bring up the input a little bit, we're gonna start with type one here. And immediately you start hearing right off the bat the, the effect from Trap Drive. I actually like this sound because it's not pure, if you know what I mean. It actually has a little bit of that distortion, a little bit of that grit. Let's see how that sounds with the drums and everything else. Yeah, I like that. I like where it's heading. So after that, I have two more sounds that come in um, sort of when everything else drops out. This is more of like a cinematic element. So I have piano and strings. We'll start with the piano. Let's see what we can do with uh, the trap drive on the piano. Normally, I probably wouldn't put distortion on the piano, but I want to see what we're going to do today and see what happens. So here we go. This is the piano without uh, trap drive. Um... So that is just, you know, like a little classical ditty <laughs> thrown in there, it's a little cinematic stuff. So let's see what we can do with a uh, trap drive.
I actually like that. A little bit of subtle uh, uh, bit crushing, a little subtle aggression in there. Um, finally, we have strings, which is uh, just orchestral elements, violins, violas, cellos, bass, <laughs> you know, string instruments. So here we go. This is without trap drive. So let's see what we can do with trap drive. I bring up the input a little bit and we'll go through the different types and maybe see if we have a little bit of a mount in there. I think I really like the first one. It's a little, it's very subtle um, distortion going on with the first one. Play that with the piano. Yeah, so there you have it. Uh, let's play through uh, just a little bit of everything with Trap Drive Engage so you hear how the Trap Drive has brought out each element um, individually, but then as a whole. So here we go. Yep, I like that. So there you have it. That is Trap Drive by DigiNoise. It is VST3 and AU. So if you have a DAW that uses VST3 and AU audio units, you should be good to go. It does not work with VST2 DAWs right now. Maybe they can work on that in the future, but make sure your plugin is compatible with VST3 and AU and you will not have a problem. A great plugin by DigiNoise Trap Drive. Definitely check it out. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to be made aware of other upcoming deals just like this to be notified of upcoming videos. And until then, be safe and be well, everyone. All right, all right, peace.